here are the five simple steps that we're going to use to use the FlashMax Connect vCache software option to accelerate a local block device, a local hard drive. This principle can be used also for an iSCSI LUN if that was presented with a file system as a block device and also as a fiber channel SAN. So anything that has a fiber channel connector and is presented the file system over an HBA can also be used using vCache. So the first thing we're going to do is actually start a stopwatch and time ourselves and go through the five simple steps. So the first thing we need to do is type mount and that will show us the local disk that's actually created, been created and mounted on the file system. The second thing we need to do is obviously um, change and make sure that it's unmounted. So we're going to type umount mnt slash disk2 and the next thing that we need to do then is create as part of step one is to create and enable vcache on the uh, flash card itself. So I'm going to use the command of vgc slash config and I'm going to give it a partition and it's going to be dev slash vgca0 and I'm going to use the enable dash vcache command. It's going to ask me uh, if all the data that's on that existing card can be uh, destroyed and I'm going to say yes and that's now going to format the card into a state that the card can be used using vcache. If I type vgc monitor it's now telling me that vcache over here is enabled. Step two is to actually create a cache space and actually assign that to our backend drive. So what I'm going to do is basically create the cache and that's using the command of vgc slash vcache and then you use config and then what we're going to do is create c-r-e-a-t-e -E, and the mode is going to be right back that's the, actually the default mode but I always put it in there's right through and right around, but right back is what we're using today. I'm going to give it a name, cache2, and then I'm going to literally specify the cache device. It's the card itself, slash dev, slash VGCA0, and the partition, the disk we've just unmounted, obviously that is the, the, the disk that it's actually going to use as the back end. So we're going to slight type dev, slash VG, uh, dev, slash, here we go, SDB one and that's basically you can create a vcache partition on the card that's associated to that back end disk drive and it's done we can literally have a look at that using vgc slash vcache monitor and it's told me that it's in a good state the front end is the card itself the mode is right back and the back end device is sdb1 so all now uh, data that's being written should be written to this dev slash VGC zero cache two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount that. So I've actually, if I go to CD MNT, do an LS, I've created a directory here already called cache two. And then all I need to do is type mount. And then literally I put in the dev slash VGC a zero underscore cache two and then this mount point mmt slash cache two that's now mounted and if i type mount you can see now that my mmt cache two is mounted directly to the card and if i actually then cd to mnt slash cache two here is some data that was already on the back end of that uh, disk earlier on today that I was testing. So that's the data that was on the back end of the disk. It's been presented. You can see it here already to go. And so we're now actually ready to start leveraging the performance of the card inside the server. And that's step five. It is really as straightforward as that. Let's stop the clock. So five simple steps 
to create a very, very simple vcache of a local attached disk drive. And let's say just over four minutes.